do, 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 da, da. It's Closet Confessions. Party time. Party, party. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you wearing, Trini? I am wearing my new, my new obsession, which you all know because I've just endlessly wear these dresses. Five dresses I bought in the summer in a sample sale from Vampire's Wife. This is one I haven't yet shown you, which I was waiting for winter, um, and it's a green one. But we're gonna go through, over the years, what I've considered a party outfit, what inspired me, what I wore it to, and some current day ones that I'm loving. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I think the principles for me when it comes to party wear are to wear dresses that I know I'll wear again, wear dresses that I can dress up or down. And if I dress dresses like this down, it's trainers and a kind of coat thrown over to make it casual. But I never want something that only stays and is worn once a year because that to me is a waste of money. Over the years, I've been offered dresses to wear on the red carpet and I always bought my own because I felt if I did that, I'd compromise the style of what I wanted to do. I bought things from Zara that I adore that have been amazing over the years like that and like that um, and like this one. So they can do, when they do a party dress, do it really well. Then dressing up or down perfection is the whistles dress I did with Chloe recently and she showed it nighttime, I showed it daytime. Temperley London has been in my wardrobe forever and I buy their sequin jumpsuits in a multiple of <laughs> colors like that. And then over the years I bought these floaty beautiful things that I wear like on summer nights in a hot country as a kind of smart outfit. So it's really as high low, but the things that I buy, I want to buy till the day I die. I buy things now knowing my body shape, knowing the colors I suit, that there will never be a moment I don't wear them. And I don't buy them so tight and fitted that if I fluctuate in weight, they change. So I know I never really change here, I can change here. So I never buy tight under the bum, they're slightly A-line. Also, it does help when you've got a makeup line that matches the color of the I dress. because you know what I got on today is I've got on Juno Italics, which I put on very quickly, a bit of wigs and a bit of a sort of neutral lip. But that's when I love Italics, because I just want to put on a flash of something that kind of complements. I wouldn't want to have green on my lips, for example. But should we just start with down memory lane, Jemima? Yes, can All we? All right, let's do it. This is my short hair days. I think it's pre-Lila. Um, and it was a top where I didn't realize then, early in days of being papped, that when you wore something that you didn't think was see-through, the flash of the photographer would make it see-through. And I remember being slightly mortified afterwards to realize how unbelievably see-through it was. I remember this well, because this is when I, you know, Charles and I went out properly for the first time. And I wore this dress from Oliver Tuskins, um, who designed it for Nina Rishi and I loved it, it had a train, it was beautiful. This was when Susanna and I, we went to the book awards. We'd won book of the year. I just look back at this now and I think, God help me that I used so many hair straighteners because it just changed my whole face. It was so hard. I was much thinner then. I just look at this and I oh my God. But I love that dress. It was the first expensive dress I bought from Sony and I even have it today. I had been gifted this in Scandinavia when I was filming and I went to the Elton John AIDS Foundation um, annual ball at Windsor and I was with Elizabeth and I wore this and I was so worried when I danced because as soon as somebody twirled me round, I was scared my boob was going to fall out and all evening that's all I worried about but I love the dress. Oh I do remember when I wore this actually I was going out with somebody and um, and it's a sort of nighty, a vintage nighty with a faux fur on top but the colours were so beautiful. This was a vintage dress that I got from a market and it was A-line and I made it into a tulip hem which is all the rage and I wore it to the Serpentine Gallery. They had this annual summer party and I quite love my hair like this. Looking back, I'm not quite sure. This is another Serpentine Gallery and I loved my hair here actually. I remember so well. I loved how I'd done my makeup and I just was testing out the Trini London products and I was, this is my first Trini London look I ever did. I remember it so well because before I got ready, I went with somebody who then actually invested in the business. And I remember saying to them, I've just done it. And they were so excited for me. And it's an old Saint Laurent dress. I remember wearing this outfit to um, the Royal Academy exhibition. And it was actually an exhibition of Charles's. I didn't know him at the time. And I thought I'd placed this um, kind of, you know, thing over my nipple really beautifully. But when the paps took a shot from the other side, all it was, how my nips were on show. This is with my darling husband, Johnny, and I was wearing a Dries van Noten skirt that I'd worn for my going away outfit with a little top, and I don't know where it's from. And I liked my hair and makeup there. It was much warmer. 
This one I remember, the GQ Awards, and Susanna and I gave an award to Boris Johnson. God knows what we gave him an award for, and I was wearing a very short Balenciaga dress. I'd never worn a dress this short with thick black tights, and I felt so good that evening. You can tell, I can always tell by my expression looking back how good I felt. This here was at some, oh, I know, no, it was at Claridge's for the Lavender Trust. Um, the green dress was from Prada, and I wore it with black tights. Look, I'm wearing green and black. It was an old vintage bag and all these bangles I got from India. This was at Claridge's and there's a party called the St. Nicholas Party. And I went there and wore this and felt really good. It's my Alice Templey favorite that so many of my team adore. And I wore it with trainer shoes, you know, my, my shoes from Stella, because I didn't want to be too overdressed. This was a kind of look I used to do quite a lot. Another um, Prada dress. And I had these old vintage earrings and I always used to scrape my hair back. I didn't always use to scrape my hair back. I'm actually seeing a very bad moment there where I look like I'm hit by a wig with Johnny in an old Lombard dress. This isn't a pap shot. This is just a lovely picture of my mummy. I remember I gave her this Missoni jacket and she loved it so much. I wore this and I remember it's the first time I was on the front page of the Daily Mail because I wore it and I felt so good. You can see just here, do you see just mm -hmm. there? There's a tiny bit of underarm hair. And Madonna had talked about not shaving her armpits a few days before. So the next day it was, I was on the cover of the Daily Mail and it talked only about my armpit hair. <laughs> Oh, you see, I there is. Notice. I know, but there is a bit of hair. But I remember also when I looked at it, I thought, did they paint some more in? I wasn't sure. <laughs> this dress is my dress of dreams because I put it on, I wear it with, with big, chunky biker boots, and I can sort of dress it down as much as you could dress down a full piece of tin foil, or I can really dress it up. So I've done it with like a rubber tertiary to give you the full on glam tonight, and an old earring of my mother's. What a great piece to have in your wardrobe. I know, and I'll have it for life as long as I can stuck in my tummy. It's essential Antwerp, the dress. It's the one I have in every colour. And then it's actually the belted by them too. And then makeup wise, I've, do I've gone for that look of doing, you know, kind of a great earring, hair back, and a smoky eye. I put it on two seconds, so I apologise for the mess that it is. When you wear a colour that really suits you, or when you wear some kind of shimmer, you know, the mood it sparks in you is something very different. A part of dressing up is to really make you feel you're celebrating yourself as a woman. I used my Robert Clergerie orange shoe for a bit of extension of color and a wedge in case you saw it. Last year reserved sequin trouser suit and I've just taken the jacket. I've changed it up by belting it with a really old Topshop belt. And then on top of this, I put a little faux fur and like God knows where this came from. And that's what this moment is about, this sequin moment. It's all the things we love, you know, sequin, fur, rainbow, joy. So this is, I think this is Galvin as well. And I think when I put this on, Lila was interested to say, mommy, do that with trainers and dress it down. So I, I have worn lots of dresses that are ankle length with a trainer, but it's the way that I can wear this dress anywhere, not anywhere. I wouldn't wear it for a meeting, but like you're going to somebody's house for supper and you don't want to be wearing a really high heel, but you want to be kind of fun and glamorous. This is what I would wear. This is kind of like, I thought, earrings. And then I remember I had this really old Ericsson Beeman sort of choker thing. And I like the idea of the closed up, but this kind of choker, just quite high up here. And then something lingering down your decollete and somebody's going, where's that going to? It's just the most beautiful panelling. You know, I have this jacket forever. It's quite fitted, really quite tight, but this is like a little corset in this jacket. If you find a special jacket, this is the kind of thing to look for on those secondhand sites, is that magical black jacket. But this is Alice Templey, and I make all the sexiness really around my eye makeup. So I've whizzed on on top of the chalice, and then I've just done a, a sort of much softer eye a lip in Eugenie, and I've just shoved that on my cheek. Last but not least is a little leopard print dress. And it's leopard and sequins, all in one. Do, do, do. And I just thought, I actually did this for the cover of You Magazine with Lila, but I did it with a brown boot. And today I just thought, hell, let's just do leopard with leopard. But this to me is just such good fun. And I can wear it with trainers in the summer or like this madly. So I am a sort of six foot seven giant. So that's it. I mean, there were a lot of different looks there and I did change my style over the years and I had nipple confidence and lack of nipple confidence. We can talk about that. The Daily Mail did for days when I wore that outfit with the lace. I've had such fun wearing those outfits and 
I don't have so many parties to go to now, so I create a party by putting on an outfit in the day that feels party. Outfits should bring you joy, whatever you wear them, really. That's it. So what are we going to do next week, Jemima? Oh, let's talk about it. You know what I thought we could do? Oh. It's a bit of faux fur, which I'm preparing on the rail, because yes. it's getting a bit chilly, and I just thought they've been such a big part of my life, and I want to go down memory lane and show you all the different ones and show you what to think about and what will last well and what's terrible to get, etc., etc. So that's definitely one on the table. A bit more party wear, like, you know, you don't want to be overdressed, so how can you wear something where you can whip something out when you see everyone going in the restaurant or going into the party and think, okay, this will take it up or take it down? Gosh, they're great options. Yeah. All right, darling, until next week. Bye. Bye.